The Iranian Revolutionary Guard confirmed that the young Iranian scientists and specialists have worked with sincerity and acquired, within a short period, the technology of advanced targeted missiles. The arms commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard's brigadier, General Amir Ali Haji Zadeh, said that these new guided missiles will greatly improve the IRGC's capabilities in the field. The combination of departments of specializations in the defense industries sector has contributed to great achievements and you can remove obstacles and break the restrictions imposed on progress and development by engaging in various specialized sectors related to," he continued. The Iranian Revolutionary Guards announced last week that the Tabas and Mursid systems had been able to destroy air targets with complete success the Iranian Tasnim agency said, on the second day of the joint 97 state war games of air defense between the Islamic Revolutionary Guard units and the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Shalamja surface-to-air missiles struck the enemy's virtual targets and they were completely destroyed. The Revolutionary Guard's mid-range TPS missile system also tested its readiness during the maneuvers by launching missiles towards targets, which destroyed the virtual enemy targets. Iran has been domestically producing new missiles, despite warnings from the US and its allies about their ballistic arsenal. A day after Tehran and Washington resumed indirect talks to salvage a 2015 nuclear deal in February Iran unveiled a new domestically made missile with a range of 1,450 kilometers, 900 miles. State TV displayed the new surface-to-surface Kiber Shikan, Kiber Buster, missile, which refers to an ancient Jewish oasis called Kiber in the Arabian Peninsula's Hijaz region that was overrun by Muslim warriors in the 7th century. The move highlighted the Islamic Republic's determination to project military cloud as world powers attempt to curb its missile program and revive limits on its uranium enrichment, a possible pathway to nuclear weapons. Israel sees Iran as an existential threat. But Iran says its ballistic missiles, with a range of up to 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles, are an important deterrent and retaliatory force against the United States, Israel and other potential regional targets. It denies seeking nuclear weapons. In 2018, then U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew from the nuclear deal and reimposed sanctions to force Tehran into talks on a broader agreement addressing its missiles in support for regional proxies. Tehran has not bowed to the pressure. Here are some facts about its ballistic missile program, which is supplemented by cruise missiles and drones. According to the U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence Iran, is armed with the largest number of ballistic missiles in the region. The Arms Control Association, a Washington, D.C.-based non-governmental organization says Iran's missile program is largely based on North Korean and Russian designs and has benefited from Chinese assistance. The program, which contains about 1,000 short- and medium-range ballistic missiles, is one of the largest deployed in the Middle East, says the association. Iran is currently focused on enhancing the accuracy of the medium-range systems, it says. The Arms Control Association says Iran's short-range and medium-range ballistic missiles include Shahab-1, with an estimated range of 300 km, the Zalfagar, 700 km, Shahab-3, 801,000 km, Emid-1, a missile under development, up to 2,000 km, and Sejil, under development, 1,500 to 2,500 km.
Iran also has cruise missiles such as KH-55, an air-launched nuclear-capable weapon, up to 3,000 kilometers, and the advanced anti-ship missile the Khalid Fars, about 300 kilometers, capable of carrying a 1,000 kilograms warhead. Saudi Arabia and the United States have said they believe Iran was behind a drone and missile attack on its prized oil facilities in 2019. Tehran denied the allegation. Iran showed its prowess in March when it attacked Erbil in northern Iraq with a dozen ballistic missiles, an unprecedented assault on the capital of the autonomous Iraqi Kurdish region. Iranian state media said Iran's Revolutionary Guards carried out the attack against what they called Israeli strategic centers in Erbil, suggesting it was revenge for recent Israeli airstrikes that killed Iranian military personnel in Syria. Yemen's Iran-aligned Houthi movement has also shown a growing mastery of missile technology. The group said it fired a number of ballistic missiles at Abu Dhabi, capital of the United Arab Emirates, and had also fired several drones at Dubai, the regional business hub. In one of the attacks, a base hosting the U.S. military in the UAE was thwarted by U.S.-built Patriot interceptors. The attack sent U.S. troops into bunkers. The United States accuses Iran of arming the Houthis, a charge Tehran denies.